Uh, we left from Broken Bay today, uh, the top side of Broken Bay, Brisbane Water, and our plan was to head out and test some of uh, some Marky's new tackle, a bit of jigging, a bit of live baiting, and uh, catch a feed of fish for the fridge at home. Managed to catch a few nice kingies. Uh, we tagged a couple of beauties there around a metre, um, kept one nice one there for the table, and uh, we dropped a few plastics down, caught a bit of bait, and uh, some snapper, certainly, um, some good quality bottom fish off the central coast here this time of year. Uh, it gets a bit hard to fish that deeper area when the current starts to run. Uh, this time of year, winter though, we are the, the bottom fishing is certainly great and the, the king is usually on the chew. I've uh, been using the new Samaki jigging outfits, the new Black Hawks. Uh, got a very clever drag system where you can uh, gradually increase the drag by increments, about 200 grams per, per turn. Um, a great little system, super light outfit, super light rods, loaded with 50 pound braid, uh, 200 gram jigs. Uh, we were jigging at about 140 metres today and it's certainly no trouble to jig in that depth of water. Usually here most of our jigging is around 100 metres. Uh, these sort of outfits are pretty much, for the New South Wales scene here on the central coast, are pretty much what you need. Uh, jigging, live baiting, it's pretty much the go this time of year, all through the winter. Uh, heaps of kingies move from the inshore grounds, they move out to the, to the wider reefs there and, and school up. They spend the winter months there and, and they spawn in the springtime and move back inshore. Around about um, December they finish out there and, and we start targeting more inshore. Don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater. With Ray Marine Superior High Fidelity Chirp Sonar Vision, you'll never look at fishing the same again. You're already the predator above the water. Now go find your prey below it. Ray Marine. Visit raymarine.com to get in on the action. The most common mistake is, um, is certainly not having the outfit set up right from the get-go. Um, people bring their own tackle all the time and uh, we make sure before we put it in the water that you know, we check all the knots, certainly check the drag, make sure the drag's nice and smooth and the line. Um, guys will turn up you know, with a, a couple of thousand dollars worth of tackle and, uh, and have some crappy braid on there and, and that'll cost them the fish in the end. Certainly some of the knots they tire a bit dubious. Um, good to stand by the old, you know, all bright onto your leader, all bright your braid onto the leader. Certainly. Um, know how to tie a blood knot and, um, and that's pretty much it. That's all the only two things you need. Maybe if you want to tie a double on the top end there as well. Uh, that's pretty much the only three knots you need. A double, all bright knot uh, and a blood knot. Yeah, a lot of guys get excited. Um, usually jigging, you're pretty worn out when you, you do get piled on. Um, it, it's pretty much um, keep it nice and smooth. Some of the country where we fish is quite rough and and they'll get you into the reef and bust you off. So you've got to know when to put a bit of pressure on and when you can relax. Certainly, um, you need to have good quality tackle. The kingy fishing here is pretty awesome through the winter months. So um, go for the higher end tackle. Your average Kmart special isn't going to cut it, but certainly um, you know, the higher end stuff is easily knock them over. Unexpectedly compact. Uncompromising reliability. Unbelievably fuel efficient. Unbridled power. Mercury has delivered a new range of 75 to 115 horsepower four stroke outboards, unlike anything the world has ever seen. Unthink everything you know about four stroke. Oh, you couldn't get half the catch that you could without um, decent electronics. I've been the um, ambassador for Ray Marine in the Pacific for the last two years 
and we do a lot of our research and development for Rain Marine. Um, their sound has uh, just come ahead in leaps and bounds the last few years. Certainly um, their charting system is brilliant using a Navionics uh, charting system. Um, that map as you go programming that we're running, you can uh, actually draw new contour lines and uh, lets us find those ledges and the Kingies school up on those ledges so that's very important. And we're fitted with a, a FLIR camera out the front, get us in and out of port in a dark night. Certainly um, our camera mounted on the back of the on the back of the bridge is loaded to a hard drive so we can record all the day's action onto that as well. And and downstairs we're basically uh, running a 40 inch TV, smart TV, uh, can Bluetooth straight to the um, Ray Marine gear and the guys down here can see what's going on. I can tell them when we're on a fish or on a patch of fish, they can see it for themselves. Certainly keeps them entertained during the day and, and certainly adds a new perspective to charter fishing. You can see a fish on the sounder, tell them to drop down and watch a guy catch it. And as you saw today, you know, we can see uh, small six inch jigs on the bottom in 100 metres of water. So it's, it's pretty good stuff. We're running three kilowatt transducer, um, 570 module and uh, C-series uh, multifunction display. Uh, it's all pretty good. It's, it's probably the best on the market at the moment. I spend about 200 plus days on the water a year. Uh, we have two boats, one that we run from Terrigal Haven and uh, this black watch here that we run out of Broken Bay. Uh, spend uh, all the summer months marlin fishing, dolphin fish, marlin, pretty much from December right through to April. Uh, we move our whole operation to Port Stephens for February, March and April and take advantage of the good marlin fishing there. And uh, the other boat's based in Terrigal. It does jigging and bottom fishing. It's um, plenty of fish, plenty of uh, great fun in the summer. Dolphin fish are just spectacular to catch out of Port Stephens and Broken Bay. Plenty of fads, uh, live baiting all through the summer months is pretty much how we catch those. And, and marlin fishing with everything from fly fishing right through to heavy and light tackle. Uh, on my days off, I like to go fly fishing. It uh, puts a whole new challenge, I think, on, on your fishing. Certainly, it's more of a one-on-one -on -one sort of thing. Billfish on fly is my favourite 